Welcome to a journey of spices, excitement, experiences and stories of good flavour meeting great vegetables and fruits right here on Own Cuisine. Namaste and welcome to another episode of Om Cuisine, Authentic Universal Meditative. Today we are going to be making golden milk. Golden milk is another name for turmeric milk and everybody has a whole slew of recipes out there. But I'm going to share with you what I grew up drinking. And if you drink this every single day, then automatically you're never going to ever be sick during the holidays or during the winter. It really does help with your immunity and just makes you feel fabulous. So let's get started. So I have a hot pan here and we're going to do some measurements, which I seldom do, but this one needs measurements. So I'm going to be putting in two cups of almond milk. And that will serve two people. So if you want to make more or less, then you can do it accordingly. And to this, I'm going to be adding up some cut up pieces of turmeric. This is optional, but it'll be really nice if you can get hold of that. It's really, really good. And then I'm going to take about six cloves in a little motar and pestle and then break them up like so and put it in there. Cloves are a very good antibacterial, so. I really like to put that in. So then, in addition to this, I'm going to be putting in about half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of shredded ginger, three big pinches of black pepper, and one level tablespoon of turmeric powder. Now in case you don't have the turmeric root, it will be a tablespoon and a quarter of turmeric powder. Okay, so I'm going to bring that into a slow simmer, allowing everything to mix beautifully. There are some recipes out there where they do put some nutmeg in it, but I don't like putting nutmeg because it kind of causes you to be sleepy and it's already a kapha season so you really don't want to get more sleepy than required. And I'd rather add local honey to help with the local allergens as opposed to adding licorice root. So there you have it. Warming up really nicely just takes about one and a half to two minutes and we're going to come back for a taste test. So the turmeric milk or the golden milk is ready for its taste test. I like the little spices touching my tongue but there are many people out there who don't so for those of you you can put it through a stainless steel sieve but I just like it like that and I'm going to be adding to this a half a teaspoon of honey. I never ever add honey directly to the saucepan because as you know honey should not be heated and that's very very toxic to the body but if you add honey after it's taken away from the fire it's completely good. Now normally this is done um, you know with dairy milk but as you know I prefer using nut milk so that you don't contribute to excess mucus in your body. Mm. It's a beautiful taste but that's because I'm familiar with it. For those of you who are not familiar with this taste get used to it because this is nature's cure and remedy to make sure that you have no flus no colds and no coughs during this very, very beautiful celebratory time of the year. Have wonderful holidays and enjoy your golden milk. 
until we meet again in another episode of Home Cuisine. This is Vaidya Priyanka.